All right. How's it, everybody? Welcome to another Friday fly day. Going to uh, tie a little uh, pheasant tail today with a little bit of flash in it. Um, good one for the box. If you uh, change this pattern up with a uh, red bead, it's pretty similar to a pole position. Um, lots of little ways you can bugger with this and uh, be creative with it. So it's a it's a good fly to learn to do, and you can uh, tie it in various colours and beads and sizes and whatnot, and use dubbings and different colours. You can make so many different flies with it, so um, good one for you guys to learn if you don't know this one. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. We'll uh, crack on into it, eh? tied up before just to have a play with it get back into it start with the uh, B175 size 14 great little fucking hook and then, uh, I'm just going to use a 2.8mm copper bead Thread your, thread your copper bead on, <coughs> chuck that in there, in the voice. Right, use some Simpy Fly Black Nano Silk <coughs> and just dress your hook. As I was saying, dress your hook. Alright. Get a bit of, bit of pheasant tail. No. Trick. Grab the many as you want. Don't know if you'll be able to see this, but pull them. 90 from the from the actual feather stem and then pull them off and that'll keep all your tips straight Check them on there oh, we're out of focus again I'm having real issues with my camera today apologies little tail, give that a couple of tight pulls and come up in front of it <coughs> to the front. Alright, <coughs> just going to use a SM small copper wire, cool. Under your bead, and tie that down. Back there, and bring your thread forward again. Typical pheasant tail wraps. I like to get to about there and then just give them a twist and give it another one over 
there just to build the body up a bit bigger. And then I generally just wrap around my thread and pull tight up here. And then a couple of turns, snip that excess off. Brilliant. Bring a couple of wire. That's nice. Three, that's no, four. And then back around a couple of times around your thread. We threw back up. And just tie that down. Cool, cool. Get your dull scissors. Snip that up there. Brilliant. Now, now we get another piece of pheasant tail. say from your bead to your barb. Pop that there. Just keep those sitting on top and just tie those back always. Alright. Now stiff if it will load image flash this little tiny flash you get half a strand of this and fold it in half and fold it in half again and put that under there and a couple of bows each end all bins turned up. <laughs> right. This little figure right over the top of those. This way. And this way. Alright. Brilliant. Then, <coughs> bit of peacock curl. Two, two of those will do. Pull the soft ends off, get rid of those. And just tie that in there as well. Take those and take wraps around your, th your guts, thorax, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes I quite like to figure it over the flash. Just like that to get a nice poofy body. A couple of times around, around your thread and back in to lock it in. Cool. And just break those off. And grab our pheasant tail on the top. Just give you a little bit of a fanny move those top ones so you get an even amount each side bring those through the middle and then pull everything back 
just like that. And then tweak that up around the bead. Make sure she's all straight. Couple of, couple of turns there. Grab that. Snip that off the front. Cool. Just wrap that down. Alright. Now with your flash, just cut it so it's similar length to your pheasant tail. Just poking out the sides. And just finish that down. Whip finish a couple of turns. This one's a bit ugly, I got interrupted. But it tells you how to do it. Alright. There you go, a little pheasant tail, peacock under, a little bit of flash, a little catch fish. I mean, cheers for watching. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.